Headed home. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. whoa. Uh, uh, don't get stuck. Oh, man. The city hates me. I always run over their coverts. But we got the 83 back. Finally back from the shop. Got its repairs. Going back to a sad, sad day. Let's get to it. You know, now that I'm driving this into the farm, I've realized I don't really have a ramp to offload this thing. That might be an issue. If you see, yeah. Hmm, where... I don't know if I should drive this up to a ditch. You know what? I think I could just ramp it off the back. Kids, don't try this at home. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't look that far from here, but... This might be a bad idea. Raise that up a little bit. Maybe it'll catch us? I don't know. Go back here. Alright. Let's see. Oh, man. This isn't going to be good. Give it a little gas. Oh. 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 Oh, oh. Well, that wasn't bad whatsoever. I thought it was going to be way more dangerous. Alright, so I don't know if you guys already realize this, but I did have a huge offer on the farm. I've been contemplating it, kicking the bucket down the road, basically. We are pretty set up at this farm. Everything is set up, but... Uh, just sometimes you it's so hard not to take that that deal you know the only thing I really hate about this deal is I'm pretty sure this farm's gonna turn into a factory farm basically it is going to be a huge corporation farm uh, this corporation's buying multiple farms in the area and basically just combining them into one huge farm uh, it's hard but you know, we haven't had the best luck with our neighbors around here bothering us. So, the wife and everything doesn't feel safe here at this farmyard. Maybe it's a good idea just to move on. Just the way this farm is laid out and everything about it just makes it so beautiful and great. Uh, it's almost laid out perfectly. This is slightly changed from the original map creator's uh, impression so eh, I say slightly but trust me I have a lot of placeables so this is where one of the farms that you can build on this map and I believe right where that uh, red shop there is is where a house goes uh, I ended up moving it around, changing it. You know me, I always change everything a little bit. But uh, I love this style. I love the dairy. Uh, if you don't know, I played about 50 or so vids on this. So you can check them all out. They're all roleplay vids on this series. Uh, I've extremely enjoyed this roleplay series. This is by far one of my favorite roleplays. Beans, this corporation is buying the farm, but they're not buying the equipment on the farm. I am going to auction off all the equipment on the farm, uh, so I got to get it ready for auction day. So I got to get some of this stuff out of my uh, wants it here first yeah probably yeah we'll back this up right about here there we go we'll leave that grain cart right there go get the other grain cart real quick back that over there by it all right now we'll put this grain cart over there. Make 
should try to drive around all this stuff. Oh man. Oh yeah. It's almost a maze already. Park this as close as possible. There's still a little bit of room for people to walk around. Look at it. There we go. And that thing almost looks pretty tiny compared to that uh that other grain cart. Of course, uh it's almost well it's close to double. A little bit under. Hook up to our uh, 2720 here. Our little itty bitty uh, ripper. Tillage ripper. Move this over here. Hopefully I get a pretty good penny out of this. Otherwise I might end up just keeping it. I like this little thing. Even though uh, when you're doing a big a lot of acres with this thing. It, oh man, talk about a lot of back and forth. A whole lot of back and forth. Not very wide. Alright, time to fire up this versatile. Sadly, we didn't really get to use this versatile that much. Oh man, it is sad. Uh, it's basically my big tillage tractor. Never, I don't even really... It doesn't have a three-point or PTO so that really limited it I was you know otherwise it probably would have been my grain cart tractor for most of the time all right we're gonna try to uh, slowly pull our case drill out here all right park it right about here I think is good fire up our old L3 gleaner here It was our rock during corn harvest. If you don't know, neighbors kind of ruined our uh, 2388, our uh, newer harvester. And the whole corn harvest, we had to go old school with the gleaner. Came through with us, even though it's a galvanized, uh, what a lot of people like to call cedar. But, uh, Got the corn in the bins, that's for sure. Ooh, I better watch out where I'm going here. Yeah, nice and tight here. I am going to miss this old cedar. Well, I mean, harvester. I don't know what I'm talking about. Cedar. Got both the heads right next to each other here. Oh, man. Nice and tight in between there. All right. Got the cedar out here. Oh man, this cedar treated us well. Love the looks and the feel of this cedar. I don't know why. It just looks so beefy. All right, put that down there. I think I'm just gonna leave the tr the 83 hooked up to it, basically, so I don't have to. Uh, block it up because uh, if you see it kind of if you got it off balance a little bit it, it'll teeter on you don't want to tip that over because then you're gonna have to teeter it back up hopefully it doesn't break anything really expensive looks like I'm gonna have to fold this out just so I can get it there we go around that corner of that barn yeah it's getting nice and really tight right here not the easiest to get around all this stuff anymore oh man I'm parked underneath this tree here uh, gotta move to the side there oh, get out of that tree that's better I think I'm gonna run over here Pick up our uh, Vermeer rake, clean that off a little bit, get that placed over here. Some of you probably might have forgot I even had this tractor. Didn't really use it that much. I'm gonna hook it up here to the bat wing. Put this on display 
And it just looks so tiny compared to this uh, old tractor here. There we go. Place that just like so over here. So I brought my boat back. I know, I know. Who sells this nice of a boat? I'm going to put it on a sale just to see what I get for it. Unfortunately, that boat really doesn't go with the farm equipment, but you never know. Maybe somebody's kid will talk their parents in to purchasing it. You never know. So if you guys don't even know, I don't even own this. Uh, this was uh, modeled off of my truck I have, or used to have. I don't own it anymore. Upgraded a little bit. Alright, so a lot of you have been asking for our equipment tour, so being this will be the last time I get to utilize a lot of this equipment, perfect time. So we got a Mac uh, Superliner, it's pulling, uh, what is this, a jet trailer, I just love the looks of that trailer. The jet on top just reminds me of military patriotism, I don't know why, but it does, probably the jet. Uh, we got a 16, 600 Ford here, single axle. It's pulling way too big of a trailer for it, but it will sit here for the auction, I guess. We got a Ranger XP 900 uh, side by side. That's our cousins. We got a Kubota here, F3060. So 60 inch deck, not 60 foot deck, but 60 inch deck, uh, 30 horsepower. We got a walker mower here with a little, uh, I believe that's a 40 or a 30 inch deck. A little uh, dirt bike there. A uh, fat tire kill wheeler. You know it. Uh, we got a uh, our deer. This is a 332G. 332G. And it has a uh, mowing deck on the front. One of my favorite tractors. It's going to be hard to get rid of this tractor. A 4440 on a cultivator a, uh, a versatile 900 that should have got more love in the field that's for sure i love the dual smoke stacks on it haggy sprayer you know it is true you can drive under these things look at that yeah we got a challenger tractor here this is actually jim's tractor it is, I can't remember what this is, an MT-555 Delta with a uh, loader on front, uh, a sassy massy, uh, love this little thing, don't like the paint job it has right now just because I like it plain, not that I'm saying anything against that, would like that license plate off of there, great little loader, uh, we got a uh, a Deer A, Model A, pulling a little uh, 258 rake here. Yeah, the Super M. Super M with the little H&S uh, uh, tether. The ultimate 4620, love this deer. It's pulling a Vermeer, uh, what is this, a V-rake. And we got the AL3 that came through and got the corn harvest done. 2388 it's all repaired up ready to go this year round Vermeer 605M love Vermeer Baylors probably because we always ran Vermeer Baylors back in the day got a uh, little feed wagon on a 2510 diesel and a Ford Ford 4000 here it's uh, pulling a bat wing believe that is a rhino yep rhino we got the little uh, fertilizer trailer there we got the gooseneck car trailer here got the big ticks pulling some bales got two H&S uh, round bale trailers here uh, we also got the W uh, ranch hand WT ranch hands two of them PJ trailer here it also has a big tank on the front. We got the Moco John Deere. 
We got the cab over. Flat face, suicide cab, whatever you want to call it. They're all the same thing. Uh, we also got the Kenworth here. Love. Kenworth 900. It is also, we got a lot of liquid fertilizer trailers. Didn't really know that. Now, yeah, it's kind of a little bit overboard. I did want to do some custom spraying. Never really panned out. Oh, well. Got an Elmer's on the big fatties here. That's a 1300. Got a uh, Kinsey. Kinsey 840 here. Got the little John Deere disc. Not sure. What is this? 40 foot? No, this is a 30 foot John Deere disc. Disc ripper here. John Deere. We got the Case IH egg. Uh, drill didn't even use that to be honest <laughs> it's kind of surprising got my uh, internet harvest international uh, planter here love this planter I guess just because of how good this mod is to be honest good looking mod I think you got the 8300 here 8330 with a loader tractor on it beautiful tractor loader combo we got the high output Yamaha used us just, just for one season this is a 24 foot limited s cars so we got the Trans Am all fixed up look at that man talk a lot about a lot of buffing yep it's hard keeping that that clean got the uh, the old school Trans Am to be honest I like this Trans Am better just personal opinion here, but uh, uh, we got the Bronco, my favorite looking front of Bronco. Got the Denali HD Silverado 30. Love that bale trailer on the back, so convenient. And the one and only Cummins Turbo Diffle. Beautiful truck, treated us well. And that is our lineup. I am gonna, I don't know. You guys are gonna have to let me know. What, what do you think we should keep? I mean, of course, the auctioneer and who shows up and bids high, just like everything. Everything's for sale at the right price. If you bring your money, you're gonna bring this home. But man, some of this is going to be awful hard to let go awful awful hard to let go we got some beautiful pieces of machinery some historic american iron farming out in the field a lot of it we didn't really get to use enough but to be honest like i said before there's 50 some videos on this series of course a lot of you are going to be mad that i'm going to be moving on it's just it's called making interesting content. You got to keep on that wheel turning. It's just what we have to do. Sorry, I I don't even really want to move on, to be honest. I would love to play this out a few more years. You guys are probably all saying, how in the world is your computer not completely pooping itself? Uh, to be honest, my computer, it, it's struggling. Really struggling. So if you don't know, this map already takes a lot of frames from you. You add up all these mods, you know, sometimes, you know, mod authors don't really worry about the frame rate when it comes to their mods. And, uh, yeah, sometimes my computer kind of poops itself, but... I am really close to getting a new Apex gaming machine. Of course, I'm getting the squad discount. Check them out. If you want to get the top end of the computers, they will hook you up. Davis over there will do whatever you need. You just talk to him. Tell him your needs. Tell him your monitor. Tell him everything that you, the games you like to play. They'll hook you up get you the best gaming PC you could possibly have and 
with the lowest dollar amount. So you don't have to worry about doing all the research. They'll do it for you. Honest, upfront, never seen more honest people. They actually tried to talk me out of purchasing a gaming PC because of the increase that I'll get between mine here and that one. But to be honest, a lot of that came in. Mine is a little heat box right now, so I need a new game PC because I don't need a heater in my house. I got one already. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. We moved everything to the center of our farm yard. We got so much room for activities. Anybody want to get on that tube? Looks fun, huh? Yeah, that's some serious. Uh, I would not fall off of that tube. Make sure, like the video, helps me out a ton.